Yesterday you learned how to compare some fractions. Today we're going to compare them and then we're going to order them. Either in order from least to greatest, it might ask you for the least, it might ask you for the greatest fraction. You have to pay attention to what it's asking. Your first question here says Jody has equal size bins from the recycling center. She filled three fifths of the bin with plastics, one twelfth of the bin with paper, and nine tenths of the bin with glass. Which bin? is the most full. So there's your question. Let's get it highlighted, please. It tells us to underline. We're going to highlight. And we're going to circle the fractions that we need to compare. So those fractions are 3 fifths, 1 twelfth, and 9 tenths. They're going to have you locate these and label them on a number line. I want you to look over here at the math idea. So sometimes it is not reasonable to find the exact location of a point on a number line. So the benchmarks that we talked about can help us in finding approximate locations. We don't want to find exactly where that point would be, but we want to find somewhere close. Okay? So the benchmarks we used were what? In a couple days, what benchmarks did we use? Can we? A half, and what was the other benchmark we had to think about on some of them? Arena and one whole. So as you can see on the number line that they have here, they have the zero, they have the half, and they also have the whole, or the one. Okay? So we're going to locate and label the three-fifths, the one twelve and the nine-tenths, on that number line. Okay? So step one says to compare each fraction to a half. So what do we know about three-fifths and a half? Is three fifths smaller or larger than a half? Larger. Larger. Okay, so we're going to put a greater than symbol there. That's not what I wanted. <coughs> All right, what about one twelfth compared to a half? Less. Smaller, so we're going to say less than. Then we need to look at nine tenths and a half. Going to be greater than. So now, as we have those, we're going to look and see that we put three fifths and nine tenths as being greater than a half. And what was the one that was less than a half? The one twelfth. So now I, that I know that two of them are larger and one of them is smaller, I can then fill them in over here, right? Okay, but before I do that, I want you to go to step two. We're going to compare the three-fifths and the nine-tenths, because if you look, we know what this one's going to be, because it's the only one that's less, right? But there's two over here that are greater than, so we're going to compare those. So we're going to use our common denominators. Okay, take a look at it. For three-fifths, we're going to use the common denominator. To come up with the same thing we were using for nine tenths. Does everybody understand that? So they're going to use a common denominator of what? Ten. So your ten is going to go here. Okay. So we know that we have to use the three fifths before we can do anything else. What am I multiplying times five to get the ten? The two. So what does that mean that I'm going to do at the top? The two also. So what is 3 times 2? Two? 6. So now I'm looking at the 9 tenths, and I'm also looking at the 6 tenths. So since 6 tenths is greater than or less than? Less than 9 tenths. You know then that 3 fifths is going to be also less than 9 tenths. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our 1 twelfth, which we knew was supposed to go here. Because it is the only one that was less than a half. And then which one am I putting in this space? Three fifths. The three fifths. Because we just found that it is going to be less than the nine tenths. And then what am I putting in this last one? Nine tenths. So some of them you may not have to do anything with common denominators, but some of them you may have to. Okay, the fraction, the greatest distance from zero has the greatest value. So this 9 tenths would be our greatest value, right? So it says the fraction with the greatest value is 
Nine tenths. Those are going to be some questions that it might ask you. What is the greatest fraction? <laughs> or it might ask you, what is the least fraction? So what is the bin mostly full with? Go back up to where you see these things. With glass, because three fifths was the plastics, one twelfth was the paper, so nine tenths was glass. And that's what you'll fill in here. So we didn't really focus on any of those things until it asked us which one was the most full. So this is how you compare them, these two ways, and then you're going to order them in order from the zero to the one. Alright, now down here it says to compare the distance between three-fifths and zero, so from here and here, and then the distance between nine-tenths and zero. What can you conclude about the relationship between three-fifths and nine-tenths? So look at the difference between three-fifths to zero and nine-tenths to zero, and then what can you conclude about the relationship between three-fifths and nine-tenths? So is this the larger distance from zero to three fifths? Or is nine tenths the larger distance? The nine tenths is a larger distance, correct? Yes. So we know that the distance between the three fifths to zero is shorter than it is from nine tenths to zero, correct? So we're going to say that that distance. So we're going from three fifths to zero is less than nine tenths and zero. So that tells us that three fifths is what to nine tenths? Less than nine tenths. Because it's going to take less time to get to zero than it is to get from nine tenths to zero. And you also found that out when you did your common denominator for three fifths. When you're finished writing that, go ahead and turn the page. We're going to try another one. Which would be the only one that is 
less than a half. Now we have to figure out where we're going to put 7 tenths, 7 twelfths, and 8 tenths. So take a look. 7 tenths and 7 twelfths have a common numerator. This is something that you did yesterday. They both have one at the top. Sevens, okay? So you're going to look at the top thinking to yourself, what? What am I doing here? If my numerators are the same, I'm going to look at my denominator. And what does it tell me? Seven tenths is? Greater than 12. Just because 12 is a larger number, does that mean that it's going to be a larger fraction? No, because there are eight tenths, they're going to be larger pieces, right? Okay, now over here we have 7 tenths and 8 tenths. Our denominators are the same, so what does that tell us here? 7 tenths is less than 8 tenths. I think the denominator ones are a lot easier, are you? In agreement with that? Not too difficult with either one. These just seem to be easier because your denominator is the same. So our fractions in order from least to greatest would be what? What's my least number? We gotta use this up here still. Okay, let's go ahead and label these first. Sorry, I missed this stuff. Located label seven tenths, seven twelfths, and eight tenths. So which one's gonna go first? Seven twelfths. Seven twelfths. What's going to come next? Seven tenths. seven tenths and eight tenths. And then all I have to do to get them in order from least to greatest is look at what? My number line, right? Are they already in order? Yep. So let's just write them with a comma between them. One third, seven twelfths, seven tenths, and eight tenths. Then you're going to write them again to where it looks with our comparison symbol. So that means that one third is less than seven twelfths, which is also less than seven tenths, and is also less than eight tenths. That's how you would read that. So one third is the least, eight tenths is your greatest. All right, I'm going to have you and your partner try the one down here. You've got four fractions, three-fourths, three-sixths, one-third, and two-twelfths, and you want to put them in order from least to greatest. They gave you a bunch of space down here. Why do you think you did that? So you can use it if you need to do common denominators to try to figure that out. If you want to draw out a number line so that you can see where it needs to be, that is where it's, why there's all this space. Should you probably do some, do some type of work as I'm looking at my denominators of my fraction? Yes, most likely. So take a few minutes to work on that with your partner, please. <laughs> 